After months of interviews, reviews and consultation, the Royal Bahamas Police Force has begun its first promotional exercise in five years. After consultation with the Police Promotion Board, the Commissioner of Police announced that 260 officers were promoted. That number includes 125 corporals who were promoted to the rank of sergeant and 135 constables who were promoted to the rank of corporal, all with effect from January 1st, 2012. This past weekend, Prime Minister Hubert Ingram addressed the restructuring exercise. Clint Watson reports. Prime Minister Hubert Ingram says the latest Royal Bahamas Police Force promotions were necessary because there hasn't been any for five years. Now the force is going to promote a significant number of officers so that we can begin to have a structure so I don't go to a place and find that there's a superintendent here and the next man to him is an inspector or go someplace and find an assistant superintendent in charge and his next man down the line is a sergeant because the force is, has never been designed to work in that fashion. Mr. Ingram also pointed out that while the process has been abused in the past, allegedly because of political reasons, they will seek to reestablish the police force as a properly structured entity. And while that may mean scrutinizing officers for promotion, it will certainly not eliminate promotions. Around six out of every ten officers on the force need to be a constable. And as you constantly and continuously recruit persons to be constables, and as you promote out of the constable ranks those who show promise of leadership, and they go up to corporal and then to sergeant, and each time one group goes up, they create vacancies for others, etc., etc. The Prime Minister says the police force is about rank and file, but what the PLP reportedly did when they were in power, according to Mr. Ingram, was a disastrous ploy for political reasons. To promote en masse without regard to need, without regard to placement, so that you have some places that have far more corporals than they could use, and too few constables. And the same thing applies at the sergeant level. So what we are seeking to do is to have a structured force, to return the force to a structure. He says an international review suggested that the ranks of chief inspector and chief superintendent be eliminated. However, when the PLP came to power, they reinstated those ranks. Ms. Ingram says they are depopulating those ranks again to ensure the force has a recommended structure. Most of the individuals have either moved up or retired. The prime minister also noted that there were five senior assistant commissioners of police and five assistant commissioners of police for a total of 11, when the force only needed its present amount of five. What was done by the previous administration, according to Mr. Ingram, has caused great harm to the force and its effectiveness. Regrettably, he says, it will take some time to straighten out. Clint Watson, ZNS News.